Hi everyone, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the setup of my 2022 Aura Estelle Cloud Planner. I am so excited to be setting up this planner. It's just so hard to believe we're already talking about 2022. It feels so crazy to me. First up, I thought I would just talk a little bit about this planner itself, um, and I will also talk about all of the different materials that I'm using here. But to start off with, as I mentioned, this is an Aura Estelle Cloud Planner, and it is in an A5 wide size, and this is the black cashmere colorway um, with the gold hardware, which I just think is such a beautiful, classy combination, and really gave me the inspiration for how I wanted to set up um, you know my planner for 2022. The purpose or the function of this planner for me is all about memory keeping. So this is where I do my spreads that I film for my YouTube channel. Um, this is where I'm doing all of that memory keeping. It's not necessarily a functional planner for me, although this year I did include some goal setting up front um, just because I do tend to have this planner out on my desk most often. And so I thought having some of my goals set setting or ideas for 2022 would be helpful to have in this planner because it is always just very accessible to me and always, you know, sitting out on my desk. So I thought having my goals at the front of this planner would be really helpful for me. So right now I am just going through and making sure that all of my dashboards and vellums are hole punched. I purchased these dashboards and vellums as a pack from Tool and Twine Co. And they have like just a really clean aesthetic, very um, simple, but they also have this like self care vibe to them, which I thought was perfect. I really enjoyed just the overall simplicity and the message behind them. That Lux acetate that I just hole punched there was from uh, Sparkly Paper Co. Sorry, totally blanked there for a minute. Um, but it's almost like a Louis Vuitton inspired pattern. And I just think it's really cute. I pulled in a few different elements that have this like Lux theme to it. Just again, I thought it really went with that like classy, simple, um, you know, clean aesthetic. The set of dashboards that I picked up from Tool and Twine Co, there were four dashboards and four vellums and I honestly could not decide between which ones I wanted to use. So although I don't really have different sections within my planner because it's just, you know, 2022 goals and then 2022 memory keeping, those are really the only sections that I have. So I definitely didn't need all four dashboards and the four vellums, but I just just loved them all so much that I couldn't decide between them so I ended up using everything because I just thought it was too beautiful not to and I just don't know you know if I'm ever gonna do this style of setup again who knows but I could always reuse these dashboards and if throughout the year I feel like it's too many I'll take them out but for now without stickers my my planner is still feeling relatively skinny to me so I figured I could add them in and it doesn't add a ton of bulk right now. For the front pockets, I always like to have a dashboard or some sort of like thicker cardstock in this front pocket. I just find it gives the, the planner a little bit more sturdiness. So this is an old dashboard that I have again from Tool and Twine Co. And I just really like having it there and it adds a little bit of extra color. It brings in a little bit more of that pink color as well as white, which is definitely a theme throughout this planner as well. And I had a leftover strip of that but Lux um, acetate, so I decided to pull that in as well. So for the little window section up at the top here, I added in an old journaling card freebie from Scribble Prints Co. that has a wicked quote on it that says, because I knew you, I have been changed for good. And honestly, it's hard for me to even read that without wanting to burst into song, but I just really love that quote and I thought it was perfect to go in the window up top there. 
The piece that I'm adding right now is a little planner tail from XO Carolyn Designs. And again, this pulled in a little bit more of that luxe pattern um, and then also a few beads. And to be honest with you guys, I completely struggled with adding this onto my rings this year. For some reason, I just could not remember how to do it. And then finally it clicked to me. So got that added in there. And I think it looks really cute just hanging out of the bottom of the planner. I really struggled with the rings in this planner, which is so weird to me because I've been using a cloud for the past year and my rings have been totally fine. So I'm wondering if these ones are just like maybe warped a little bit and I'll just have to be like extra delicate with them. But it's definitely something I struggled with um, every time I was kind of flipping over the pages. So that was a little bit annoying. I'm hoping maybe I can, you know, try and fix them a little bit. But yeah, definitely something I'm going to have to look Look out for this year. So now I'm going back to the pockets here. You can see when I'm setting up a planner, I really bounce all around. It's just kind of like whatever I think of something, I go to add it. I will just quickly mention in the pockets at the top, I have two journaling cards. One is from Shop Jessica Hearts, that like pink one. And the other one is a Moon Phases journaling card from Letters to Apollo. Again, pulling in some of those like blacks and grays and pinks. That was kind of like the overall theme for these pockets. And then I have those Lux inspired vellum sticky notes. Those are from Rose Color Days. All these little quote cards that are like, I am loved, I am capable, I am strong. Those are all from Tool and Twine Co. And they really match perfectly with the dashboards that I have in this planner. So I kept with that like self care, self love theme and brought those in to the pockets as well. I'll try to mention everything else that's included in these pockets, but if you do have any questions about a specific item, please feel free to leave me a comment down below and I will definitely get back to you. The paper clip that I added with the little pearl is also from XO Carolyn Designs and the butterfly sticker is from a sticker pack from Murdoch Talks. The leopard print bow that I added in the pocket is from Pigtails and Pockets, but I actually don't think her shop is around anymore. I haven't seen her posting anything in a really long time, and I'm so sad about it because I really loved those collab bows that she did with Fox and Pip. I thought they were so cute. I also added like a journaling card from Crafts by Towie into the front pockets, as well as a washi card from Scribble Prints Co. and another one from Tool and Twine Co. The black and gold pen that I have tucked in the pen loop right now is an old Simply Gilded pen. I got it in a subscription box a really long time ago, but again, the black and gold, it just felt like it matched this setup so perfectly. The final thing that I'm adding in here is just another one of those clips from XO Carolyn Designs. And I decided to pull in a, another sticker from the same pack as the butterfly from Murdoch Talks. This is a girl that just says like, your weight may fluctuate, but your value doesn't, I think is what it says. Uh, and so I thought that was perfect to put on the same page as my health and wellness goals for the year. It doesn't feel overly secure just having this sticker clipped to the page. So I'm thinking I might actually laminate this and have it more as a die cut versus using it as a sticker. I just feel like I don't want that sticker to get ruined. So I think it's safer just to have it laminated. So that is it for my cloud setup for 2022. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of an overview here just so you can see the setup in its entirety and give you a close up of some of the, the pocket elements because I know I was being a little bit wide with my angle there initially. So here you can see that close up view of how the pockets turned out. I think it looks really cute without being like super cluttered. So I'm really happy with how that you know front section turned out. 
I believe I mentioned everything that I used for this setup, but if there is something that you know I missed and you're just dying to know where it came from, please leave me a comment down below. And of course, I'm more than happy to get back to you. The one thing I may not have mentioned it now that I'm thinking of it is my inserts. So my inserts are from Aura Estelle. I used them all of 2021 for my memory keeping and I really enjoyed them. I think the paper quality is really good. Stickers can kind of like pull off of them and it doesn't, you know, rip them terribly. So overall, I just think the paper quality is really good. I love that they're very simplistic and like don't have to do a ton of whiting out. So I have all 52 weeks already here in my planner and I'm good to go for 2022. So that's it for my setup for next year. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing it. Overall, pretty simplistic, but I think it looks really pretty and I can't wait to dive into it and start using it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you very soon. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!